Hello everyone, teacher Jonas here, and today we are going to learn more about multiplication. All right, so let's review what we have learned. Before we do that, let's repeat together the word multiplication. But let's break it down. Mol T repeat after me, okay? Mol T Plication, not shan, shen. Multi, plication, multiplication, multiplication, multiplication. Good job. Now, what is multiplication? Here it is. It has times this one, and it has equals or equals to which is here and we call the whole thing multiplication sum so five times five equals 25 now what does five times five mean it means that there are five groups of five it means we have five groups and in each group there are five things. For example, fingers. Okay, one hand, five. But what if we have five hands? Five, 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 five. So together, we have 25 fingers, right? So we learned that this is six times two equals to 12. Or three times 8 equals to 24. Now remember guys, 6 times 2 or 2 times 6, the answer is the same. It is 12. Now, let me do this example with you again. How many legs does each cat have? Look at this cat. 1, 2, 3, Four, so it has four legs. Now, what if we have three cats? One, two, three. So we can say three times four or four times three. And the answer will be the same. It is 12. But my question is 12 what? Look at the question. How many legs? So 12 legs it means that four cats together have 12 legs see we are finished nope remember you have to write 12 legs so there are 12 legs here look at this one there are six pencils in one pack but how many pencils are in three packs hmm very easy you just say six times three or three times six doesn't matter the answer is the same the answer is 18 but 18 what 18 packs or 18 pencils hmm look at the question how many pencils are there so we care about pencils 18 pencils so there are 18 pencils and another example we did was this one there are 10 strawberries in a cake so 10 strawberries on one cake so we want to know how many strawberries are in nine cakes so we say 10 times 9 or 9 times 10 doesn't matter the answer is 90 90 what strawberries very good strawberries now 10 times 9 is exactly same as 9 plus 9 plus 9 blah, 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 10 times or 
10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 9 times. But that is too long. That's why we have multiplication to help us. See, the answer is correct. <laughs> All right, so let's learn about the new multiplication topic. We are going to learn about multiplications of two digit numbers, for example, 10, 25, uh, 58. These are two digit numbers, one digit and two digits by one digit. So times one times five times, I don't know, two. These are one digit numbers because they're only one digit. For example, look at this one. This one is a one digit number and another one digit number. So it's super easy. Five times six equals to 30. Or four times seven. Again, one digit number times another one digit number. Four times seven equals 20. Eight. 28. Very good. 21 times 5 equals... Oh, hmm. This one is a little challenging. What should we do? We can add 21 to itself 5 times. We can do 21 plus 21 plus 24. Oh, see, we can do repeated addition because it's hard to do it like this. But, guys, doing it like this also takes a lot of your time. So what should we do? I cannot do it like this. And I cannot do it like this. What can I do? I have the solution for you. We must use the column form. This is called the column form. See, this is a column form version of 21 times 5. We write the two-digit number on the top, 21, and we write the one digit number at the bottom. But remember to align the place values correctly. What does that mean? Ones have to be aligned. Ones, 21, one here. And five is a one digit number, so here. 21, 20, it has to be under tens. So it must be a line. You cannot put five here. No, no, no. You cannot put put five here. No, no, no. It has to be in the right column, okay? So let's see. What is 21 times five? What do we do? First, we ask ourselves, hey, five times one. What is five times one? It is five. Super easy. Five. So we write it in the one's place. Don't write it here. Write it below the one's area. Next, we ask ourselves, what is 5 times 2? So we multiply 5 by 2. 5 times 2 is 10. So easy. So we just write 10 here. So now, we have the answer. 105. <laughs> but don't forget, the zero must be in the tens, and the one has to be in the hundreds column. So 21 times 5 equals 105. Hmm, good job. What about this? Oh, this one is harder. 8 times 97? What? What do we do? Oh, I know. We write it in the column form. So we will use the column form. We write it like this. So we write 97, the two digit number on the top. And we write the eight, the one digit number in the ones area. So 97 times eight. So first we say, what is eight times seven? Okay, eight times seven, not eight times nine. We start from the ones. 8 times 7 equals 56. So, do I write 56 right here? No! We cannot write 56. Yes, we can write the 6 here. Yes, the 6 can be here. But 
the five, the fifty cannot be here because we still have eight times nine. So what do I do? We will not put the five here. Just remember that. Instead, we put it up here on the next digit on up here. So eight times seven is fifty-six. Six right here and five on the next digit. Now, what do we do now? Eight times nine. Eight times nine is 72. Do I write 72 here? No. But I don't have any more multiplication to do. Why can't I write it? Because you are not finished. Did you forget the five? What we do with the five is that we add it to 72. So 8 times 9 is 72 plus the 5 we had up here, which is 77. What do I do now? Can I write it here? Yes, now you can. So we write 77 here. So together, the answer is 776. 97 times 8 equals 776. Now, try to multiply this. Pause the video and do it on a piece of paper. Okay? And then come back to the video and let's do it together. So pause it now and do it. <laughs> okay. I hope you pause the video. Otherwise, I look silly. <laughs> All right. What is 6 times 39? Huh. So let's see. 6 times 39. So we write 39 here. Times 6. So first, we do 6 times 9. What is 6 times 9? It is 54. So I write 4 here. I write 5 up here. 6 times 3 is 18, but I have a 5, so 18 plus 5 is 23, so I write it like this. So, the answer is 234, is that correct? Yes, it is correct, so the answer to 39 times 6 is 200. 34. I am so proud of you guys. You're all so smart and intelligent and you do your best. Hmm. Okay, so until I see you next time, Teacher Jonas out. Bye bye everyone. See you.